No turning on the gas to see what happens. Hello and welcome back. How is everybody? Hope you're all okay and coping well with COVID. Today we're looking at this, a gas uh, brazing torch. And it's made by William Alday & Co. I think it's nearly new because it's still got some stickers on it. Possibly only been used as a hammer a few times, so that's not too bad. But generally, I don't think it's even been used. And that is the tap for the air, and that is the tap for the gas. Let's open her up. Not much suit in there, so I'm guessing it's never seen any action. Nothing special about that nozzle. It's big though, which is worrying. And as you can see, that one in the center is where the air comes in, and the big one is the gas that comes in the bottom. I think these, or this one in particular, might have been from a school, like a brazen half. And I think it runs on natural gas, because looking at the size of that gas inlet, I'm going to struggle. Last week from the car boot, I picked up this gas hose, but as you can see, oh dear, that's never going to work. I need something a lot bigger, so that is upsetting. So I've purchased some big O's, 16mm bore, but it still leaves me with the problem of joining the lines together. So I'm going to have to make an adapter. And luckily I picked up that piece of brass in the car boot sale last week. I think that's just the job. So, the plan for this piece of car boot sale brass, 50p, I think it was, clean that end up, drill a 6mm hole all the way through, reduce half of it to 16mm to fit the fat pipe, and then the other half needs to be down to about 8mm to go in the other gas line. So a bit of work. But well, the piece was nearly free. And you can't get an, ad an adapter like that. They don't make one. This is no surprise, just my luck.
think this will be fine. I may cut some notches in it, some grooves, just like a barbed. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yep, that's that side done. Oh dear. <laughs> Oh, I can't get the bleeding thing off. Hello and welcome back. Today we're talking about the lathe torch. It's a brand new invention. <laughs> oh. Okay, I've just given this carbide, old carbide tool, a round profile so I can give it a barbed end for the gas pipe. That's a good thing about this hobby, you can just make stuff. And it's very, very handy having a lathe. If you want to make something, lathe. If you want to repair something, lathe. If you're dropping ice cream on the floor, lathe. Well that's turned out better than I was expecting. Next job, I've got to drill a hole all the way through it. It's quite small actually, smaller than I thought. Probably about 5mm. Right, that seems to be the job. Okay, this is turning out to be a little bit trickier than I thought. So I've just cleaned this surface up, I've re reversed the whole thing in the chuck and turned that end down. I was going to turn it between centres but the other end is going to be quite thin, maybe 9mm. And with a whole 6mm hole drilled in it, it may collapse, so that's not a good idea. I think that'll be the best solution. It ain't going to be pretty, but then neither am I.
Well, that's worked quite well. I couldn't get the cutting tool any closer to the rotating centre, so I've gone over a quarter of an inch, then dug in. And this is quite thin walled now, maybe a two millimetre wall, because it's drilled out in the middle, and it's supported well. So got away with that. Nice. <clears throat> right, 16 millimetre pipe, one reducer, 16 mil to 8 mil. I think it's turned out rather well. You can't buy these, they don't make them. I just wish I spent more time getting some better circlips. I got these from Tool Station. They seem a bit dubious, so I'm going to double them up. Yeah, these feel very flimsy. I'll have to do um, a gas check before I light the torch. I'll put some through a liquid and water and see if there's any leaks. Well, hopefully it's okay. Well, it looks the part, if nothing else. That's the gas line sorted. I just need to connect the air line. We'll have some gas in there. I'm not 100% convinced this is going to work now. I'm having my doubts. This is natural gas. I'm going to try and run it on propane and see what happens. But it is quite a big bore. So that is quite concerning. But there's only one way to find out. We'll give it a go. And if it's no good, I'll put it back on eBay for some more fuel to buy. <sighs> gas sir torch, test one. We have gas. We have a Right, that's quite a big flame, that's probably good for getting people out of foxholes up. <laughs> Let's add some of her. Too much of a... Not enough gas. Right. That's quite a good test, I'm quite happy with that. So there you go, that is a gas air torch. In the next video I'll melt some metal. I just need a slightly longer air hose, which is only about two meters. We'll get organized. So thanks for viewing and come back again. That's not bad that.